it looks like it's gonna like sprout arms and like jump at me. Like I'm like, no. We've brought you in today to try some Indonesian fruit. Ooh. Okay, okay, I think I can do that. I usually like fruit, so I'm hoping that uh, fruit doesn't get ruined. <laughs> All right, so here is your first fruit. You can take that out of the bag. Whoa. What is this? No offense, but this is probably the hairiest person I've ever saw. <gasps> oh my gosh! This is so, oh my! I've had this before. This is so good. I have seen these on YouTube, and I would always wanted to try them. <laughs> oh, these are rambutans. I eat these a lot. It smells kind of like a plant, kind of. This one under the little hair kind of looks like a strawberry. So here's a prepared version for you. Is this what you were expecting? No. That looks like a big, giant grape. It looks like a peeled grape. It looks like the grape that I peeled at my Grammy and Papa's and it tastes very gross and I spit it on the pool. <laughs> it smells so good. Wait, 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 wait. I'm actually really excited to try this. Hold up. Tastes like how it always tastes. Tastes kind of good. The flavor is actually kind of like an apple to me. Okay, this slaps. It's so good. It's kind of like a mango, but like the texture of like a like soft kiwi. What it looks like, like when it's not cut into, it looks pretty not good, but it's really good actually. I was expecting it to be like a sour, sour fruit, but now that I see, it's actually delicious. This was a rambutan. What the? The rambut part of its name is Malay for hairy, referring to the look of its outer covering. Rambutan fruit can be used in a variety of ways, from juices to desserts, and even to balance out the heat in some curries. Okay, this would be dope in a curry. I can see that. Mmm. I gotta try this with some spicy set salad or something. Wow, I really like that. Very good. I would love to like have that as a snack. Two thumbs up for me. Here's your next fruit. Oh, what is it? <gasps> what is that? What is that? Ah, it's like squishy. Oh my, is this a dead avocado? It looks like a dead cactus. It's kind of soft. On my opinion, if it didn't curve, then it to me it kind of looked like a pickle. I know that smell. Wait, hold up. I know this smell. I swear this smells like a pear. It looks like it's gonna like sprout arms and like jump at me. Like I'm like, no. I'm scared to eat this girl. I'm not ready. Here's the prepared version. It looks like a squished dumpling. Oh! Too strong. I don't want to eat this just because of the fact it looks like meat, but in fact it's a plant. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. No. No, that tastes gross. Mm. It's kind of sour. I kind of like it too. Okay. It doesn't, it's not horrible. Oh, that's a weird texture, girl. Mm-mm. like gooey and it just had a weird taste. Oh my God, that is, just say it. Just say what fruit it is, cause that is gross. So you just ate sour sop. 
I hate that so much. That sounds so gross. That does not sound appetizing one bit. Soursop is a prickly green fruit that is also known as graviole. It is used not only in cooking, but also medicinally and can even be applied to the skin. Good as medicine, not as food. It's not for me. Like, I would not eat this again. Sorry, but I would not eat that again. Oh my God, it's so gross. I think it needs to go to food prison for trying to kill all the taste buds in my tongue. Here's your last fruit. What is that? It looks like a pomegranate. What is this, ma'am? What is this, girl? I don't know what this is. Is this like a, a, a passion fruit or something? Or like, I don't know. That's what, uh, that's what, that's what it reminds me of, at least. Kind of looks like an outside of a plum to me. It smells kind of like a plum. Is this edible? It looks kind of like a plum, but plums are very soft. And like, if you used your knuckle in a plum, it would go straight through it. This hurts when you like, put your knuckle on it. Here's a prepared <laughs> version for you. This looks like a, this looks like a shrimp. It smells good, but. Not looking good over there. <laughs> Kinda looks like a pumpkin, except smaller. I feel bad for this actually. It looks like it looks like human guts and garlic. Mm. It literally tastes sour. Ugh, it's squishy. Oh, it's kinda good. Juicy but also sour at the same time. Why is that so good? I'm gonna eat it. You wanna know what it reminds me of? Cause there's like gushers and like, it's like liquid inside of it. So it reminds me of gushers. It's giving me very peach vibes and a mandarin mixed together. I'm kind of liking this. This is weird. This is mango steam. The fresh version of this Southeast Asian fruit wasn't allowed in the United States until 2007 due to the invasive fruit flies that came with. Mangosteen can also be eaten in freeze-dried and dehydrated forms. Um, so you're telling me that this stole the name of mango? I don't know why people like it. Okay, I, this would be good in like a smoothie. These frozen in a smoothie. That's what I'm gonna need right now. Well, out of these three Indonesian fruits that you've tried today, which one would you recommend to someone else to try? I would recommend a mango tea. Uh, cause that's really good. Number one, the texture and taste taste good. Definitely the first one, 100%. You should definitely have that one, very good. The rainbow tea. It was sweet, it was a good texture, and it, it, it it didn't try to kill all my taste buds. I'd recommend the the rambutan because I feel like you can probably more easily get it than the other few. And on top of that, it's really good, but nobody gives it a chance because it looks like a hairball. It would be number one. I really liked the, what was it called again? Rambutan, I really like that. I would go to Indonesia just for that. That was really good. I would recommend the first one. I'm done with trying new foods. Taco Bell, I'm gonna stick to. What's up, everyone? It is Nick here. I am joined remotely by my co-producer, Lindsay. You're probably wondering what channel you just stumbled upon, but don't worry, this is still React. We just have a new name and a new look. Starting today, FBE is going to be known as React, and React is gonna be known as Replay. FBE was always more about reacting to things, whereas React was more about playing games and challenges. So we decided now was as good a time as any to make it official as part of our rebranding. Yeah, well, the look is different. We're still gonna keep making the videos that you love, just with a channel name that's more representative of who we are. If you want to learn more about it, you can click the link below, we'll take you right to our blog post. Welcome to Replay. We're glad you're here. Thanks for watching this episode from Kids vs. Food. Bye-bye. Hey guys, producer Lindsay here. We are so excited to be bringing back our Kids vs. Food series. What food should they try next? Let us know in the comments.